Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Mad Cheese as always. Got another gameplay for you slash tip video. Today I'm going to be going over a lot of different stuff. Ultimately, though, the, the central focus of this video is going to be run defense, things you can do uh, for better run defense pre snap, as well as some money plays. I'll show you in the back end. I got a new blitz uh, and some pretty good, uh, you know, just overall general tips, uh, like a lot of my gameplays are. But before I get into the video, if you guys could do me a little bit of a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button. Uh, every time you guys hit like, share, comments, all that stuff really helps out my channel in my videos so i really appreciate that other than that if you like what you see make sure to stick around by subscribing other than that let's go let's get right into the video uh first series i'm on defense my opponent here comes out in an empty backfield look, which is kind of interesting considering most of this game he's going to be a uh, pretty consistent runner. He tries to take off with the quarterback and has some real steering issues as he fumbles and we get the ball inside the red zone on the very first play. So very uh, unlucky for him. Uh, two plays later, I mean, we're going to just pound it right up the gut on the uh, second down. And then on third down, we're going to see he only has one linebacker in the middle. Uh, so I count. I got five versus five. I'm going to QB sneak this and uh, take it right up the middle with uh, not necessarily the most mobile quarterback uh, but Patrick Mahomes can really get the job done so he's gonna go he's just gonna punch it in get a good animation I mean a lot of times uh, I'm, I've had other games where I got a much worse animation than that it looks like he got pushed into the end zone so we get a very quick seven nothing lead uh, on the defensive side I'm not necessarily in a very good run defense I'm coming out in a lot of pass defensive looks because I'm expecting pass uh, but ultimately my first tip is going to be shifting the defense pretty much every play I'm going to try to shift the defense in one way or another to try to gain advantage uh, as you can see right here, I mean, this is not necessarily uh, the formation that he's in on offense right now. He's in a single back formation. There's not a lot of tells necessarily where the ball is going to go. He can really go in any direction. He can go to the left, he can go to the right, he can go up the middle. And the defense that I'm in is not very uh, run stop heavy. This is a pass heavy defense that I'm coming out in. Even when I'm trying to shift and pinch these defensive players, I'm st I still have huge gaps right over the middle uh, where, you know, I typically don't want to have. So I'm in a pass heavy defense. I can't really take away these gaps. That would probably be my tip number two uh, is you really want to try to eliminate as many gaps as possible and this defense is just not really capable of it so he's going to have a lot of success running i mean i'm really trying to shift pinch the entire defense there's nothing i can do to get rid of those huge lanes on the inside and outside really uh because like i said ultimately i'm trying to play the pass anyway this guy obviously is not very comfortable passing Nope. I mean, with the way that he's, he's throwing animations, the way he's throwing off his back foot, he's running the ball because he's more comfortable running the ball. So, next play, I'm going to come out in another very pass heavy defense. And once again, I have huge gaps, but this particular play, I can take away those gaps a lot better. As you're going to see, I basically pinch and I do a much better job of filling those holes. And typically, my next tip would be when you have outside blitzers like this that are pretty much going to get free, you don't necessarily need uh, a big defensive package if you have uh, free guys coming in, which is ultimately the goal in this particular play. I'm going to try to get a lot of free pressure coming off the sides and that's going to do a good job of slowing down the running backs as well so you don't need a size advantage like you might have in years past i don't think there's really a penalty anymore if you have free defenders coming in no nope. uh, fast defenders coming in like on this particular defense i'm using right now it's really not going to matter so then on fourth down i come out in a, the same defense and i i guess he thought that that was still the best way to go maybe he thought he couldn't throw into it that's terrible. I don't know. Poor decision. Gives me the ball right back. Uh, and, you know, on the offensive side here, I mean, I have I struggled to do anything with it. First play, I lose four yards. Second play, trying to hit him on a one-play touchdown. is just not there. He was using that lane. Uh, and then I throw it away. And then on third and 14, I mean, ultimately, I, I basically just take a shot as I, uh, I thought I had a step. But I guess the uh, the quarterback under threw the ball. Maybe he was, you know, getting pressured. So that series was a complete waste. So it's right back to defense. And now we're in a defensive look, or at least an offensive look that's easy to read, where you see he's in basically a, a, a shotgun formation where the only real running option is going to be an inside zone. So you see I make my shift to the left uh, like I've been typically doing. This is a much easier read than a single back look. That's really the only position where the ball can go. So I'm going to position myself, considering he's been very run heavy, I'm going to position myself right in that gap, waiting for the running back to come in that lane. Now, once the play starts, I really have to position myself with outside leverage towards that gap as you can see right here i mean the blocker was right on top of me uh but if i position myself in a position where he can't really get uh, the angle that he wants you can see i can still force myself to be a very useful defender as we get the stop right there no 
And then another tip uh, from that play that would be very useful is when I when I made the tackle, a lot of times I don't actually, uh, I don't throw hit sticks or I don't even hit the tackle button. A lot of times I just run into uh, the defender and a lot of times that can really have a success uh, rate of, of getting the tackle. You don't necessarily have to hit a tackle button. If you just run into the defender head on, a lot of times uh, you'll get the tackle animation. So sometimes it's just a little bit easier to do that way. And a lot of times that's all I'm really doing when I'm making the tackle is running into them, uh, which I don't think a lot of people know. So now he's having a little bit of success, uh, you know, moving the ball on me, short passing, and a lot of run plays. So I'm going to come out in a run heavy defense that I've had a lot of success with uh, in years past. Uh, and on this first play, I mean, all I really do with this defense is spread the line and keep it contained, bring the safety down in the box. Uh, that just does a really good job. The keep it contained's job really is just to maintain the outside leverage and make sure that, that runs don't get outside of it, which typically it will do. I use the safety uh, because, you know, I just think that this is the best way to bring it extra box defender into the box uh and then you know all you have to really do i mean if it's a pass play i can drop back and do my assignment but you can see i mean this play is very successful no nope. uh, that was probably the guy manned to the running back a lot of times players that are manned to the running back do a really good job of stopping the run on the next play though i mean it hits me with a good playmaker i don't typically run a lot of zones uh that's why because they don't really stick with their assignment and you can see he gets a touchdown and ties the game so on the offensive side i run the ball you know just one time just you know a lot of times just doing that to make my opponent expect run possibly on the next play i don't get much success but the ultimate goal was to basically set him up uh for a passing play on the next play and this is easily one of my most successful passing plays uh, of this year, the, the four verticals. This is something that, you know, I put it out twice this year. I put it out early in Madden. I put it out in my top five passing plays video. It's really simple, especially if you got a cover three look like I have here. Just got to buy a little bit of time, and then you can see this guy goes right up the seam. Break yourself, fool! Uh, for a big one play touchdown so we're you know with just with not a lot of time left I mean we really didn't have the ball much this quarter because um, you know we scored so fast in the first series so we go ahead we take the uh, take the lead there on the defensive side like I said this guy's mostly short passing and running hits me with a screen gets a nice uh, chunk of yards there first down on first down uh, then on the next play like I say he comes down a lot of empty backfields even though he runs around like a baby deer That's not going to complete a high percentage of passes. Nope. So on the next play, we're going to show you that blitz I was talking about, the Bucks Slant 3. This is something right out of my Kansas City Chiefs ebook. Link in the description below. All you really have to do is basically shift the defense to the right, uh, bring the user down into this gap right here, and then you have to put that purple zone on a, uh, a bluff blitz. Uh, the last step is I'm going to put myself in a QB contain because for whatever reason, it just helps to uh, pull the blockers better, which is ultimately my goal before I drop in a cup. And then right after the play starts, you can see he just runs right past two blockers that were trying gotcha, bitch. to shift over in that direction. And then he throws an interception because he basically has to throw it right away to get away from getting sacked. So we get the ball back. We just scored about 45 seconds ago. And we're going to try to score again with the hitch corners. Now, this is a play you can find in just about any single playbook. Uh, I might have put it out last year once again. I'm just going to motion this guy across, put him on a streak. Really simple setup. If it's a cover two, which is ultimately what I'm reading here, I mean, I have so many options. I drag the RB route as a check down, but ultimately, smoking the X route is going to get the Y route above him wide open. And I could have probably threw it to the B route as well. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> I mean, I love these spread defenses. If you come out in something like this, a five wide receiver set, you're going to have so many advantages against things, especially against cover two. It just doesn't have enough coverage for deep routes. So we take a two touchdown lead. Second half, like I said, I'm not much of a runner. I mean, I, I run sometimes, but I'm really just running to set the pass. So in the next play coming out, I see that cover three, that single high safety one more time. We're going to switch to that four verticals look one more time. And we're going to basically do the exact same setup, just streak these guys in the middle, motion this tight end out. And this was, it was actually a cover one but it still doesn't even matter Break yourself, fool. as you can see we just bomb it up to the b route i mean he's getting covered man on man with a linebacker and we get a very big play uh, for another one play touchdown and my opponent here is going to go ahead he's going to call it quits so that's it that's the video real quick video run tips video as well as some money plays if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor let me know in the comment section with the like button i'll do that next other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.